Hi gardeners. So today I have really bad news. What you see behind me is what's left of my beautiful zucchini beds. So I'm just gonna say it. I got Phytophthora. And that is a blight. Uh, uh, soil fungus that I thought I had to worry about with tomatoes. My tomato tomatoes are trellis, they don't touch the soil. I water the soil so no splashback comes in. I have it heavily mulched, never got it on anything. Well, I've only been at this, this is only my second year or so, but I didn't realize it till it was too late. I had to pull out three of my oldest zucchini plants and I don't think these are going to make it. So what can I do about it? Well, well, what I did do about it is I mixed 3% hydrogen peroxide, one part hydrogen peroxide to three parts water and I sprayed the soil. I'm gonna do that every three to five days, letting the soil dry in between it. Now it's starting to rain. Yeah, I, I may lose this whole bed. Um, my other zucchinis are sick too. And I think my pumpkins have it. My watermelons look fine. I don't, I'm not sure if it attacks watermelons, but um, so I sprayed everything this morning. You have to be careful with hydrogen hydrogen peroxide because you can render your soil sterile. So just for general fungus, you have you're supposed to mix nine parts water with one part peroxide. But I had severe root rot. I'm gonna show you here. How did I know that my zucchinis were this sick. Well, the leaves started to yellow. I didn't think much of it because it's been hot here. It's been terribly hot. But the fruit started to look like this. And so I started to do some research. And so my stems looked like this. And I realized it was it was it was rotting, and that the culprit was probably phyto the phyto thora. I can't pronounce it, but so it's a blight. It's a fungus. So I, I'm just devastated. I. I bragged about how I love growing zucchini because it was so easy to grow. And I was getting about 10 or 12 pounds of zucchini a week. Way more than we could eat, honest. I, I froze a bunch of it. I'm going to uh, cook the frozen zucchini in um, zucchini bread. One of my um, viewers recommended that. And thank you. But my husband likes to eat raw zucchini every week he likes it's part of his his um and a ritual he is eats certain fruits and vegetables every week and eats them raw and he likes the small ones so i was trying to be good about pulling their small we've got a bunch but they only last about three weeks in the fridge then i have to freeze it so i thought i was gonna provide zucchini all this whole season for him but I don't know, I may lose all the zucchini plants. I could plant more, but I'm only gonna have maybe a month before my first frost by the time they start producing fruit. I, I, I might only have four, six, four to six weeks before my first frost. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna replant it. I'm also, the zucchini I pulled up and any more I have to pull up it's not going in my compost bin I don't have a hot compost so it's not going to kill the fungus um, 
so I'm just going to discard them, um, probably in the woods in the back, but I'm, I'm devastated. I, I really am. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, this bed, even my sunflowers don't look good. I, they were beautiful a few weeks ago when I showed you the tour, when I did the tour. So, next year, what am I gonna do differently? Well, I think next year, I've got the big containers, I've showed them to you before, really big containers. I think I'm gonna plant my zucchini in, in containers one per container that way they have breathing room um part of the problem was i planted way too close together there wasn't enough air the moisture couldn't evaporate um that probably led to the powdery mildew i got which by the way i got rid of <sighs> but same thing with my pumpkins I'm gonna plant them in the new patch, but further away. But the zucchini, I think I'm gonna plant. Oh, the air conditioner kicked, kicked on. Oh, well, I'm almost to the end. I am going to plant them, I think, in containers. I tried trellising them. Remember, I did that video. It didn't work well. It didn't really keep them separated the way I, I needed them to be. So it's my own fault. But all I can do is do things different next year. So check back with me next year and see how I, I do zucchinis. It's starting to rain, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. And, uh, I'm out for now. I'll get with you next in the next one. Bye.